People are dead and a third is seriously injured after an overnight incident in North Utica. All three are correction officers at the Marcy State Facility. Utica Police Chief Mark Williams says Christopher Conkling of Utica shot a co-worker in his home of his ex-fiance's house in North Utica. Conkling took his ex-fiance Heather Mock captive, brought her to his North Utica home. Conkling shot and killed Mock then himself. Oshalon Stevens sorts this all out. Early this morning, Utica police were dispatched to 455 Elmhurst Road. Andrew Pruitt of Utica was found in the home with a gunshot wound to his forehead. Pruitt is currently hospitalized but conscious and expected to live. At the time of the shooting, Pruitt was at the home of Heather Mock along with her mother. Mock's ex fiance, Christopher Conklin, age 38 of Utica, walked into her home from a rear unsecured door. An argument ensued and Conklin shot Pruitt. After the shooting, Conklin abducted Mock and brought her to his home here at 434 Van Rensselaer Road. Metro SWAT was called out, attempted several hours of communication with Conklin with no luck. Williams says a remote camera was placed inside the residence and entry was made into the home by SWAT members. Both Mock and Conklin were found deceased. This will be a full crime scene reconstruction even though we know what the outcome was and there will be no prosecution in this case at this point. Utica police will be looking at background information to see what led to this moment. Reporting in North Utica, Shalon Stevens, Eyewitness News.